Hi everyone, thanks for clicking on my video today. This is gonna be part 14 of my Learning Unreal Engine tutorial series. And in this video, we're gonna be looking at the branch node. The branch node will check if a certain condition is true. So let's say there's a two and a four. It's going to say, do this if two equals four. If it doesn't equal four, do this. So if that doesn't make any sense, don't worry, stick around for the video and it will all be as clear as day by the end of it. So I hope you enjoy the video and I hope you learn something. Time to get started though. We'll go games, next, first person, next, and that should be good. Tut 14 branch node, create the project. For those of you that are familiar with computer code, or just really any language, uh, the, what branch nodes are is just an if statement. Now, I had actually asked why it's not just called an if statement, and someone gave me an answer, at least related to Blender geometry nodes, saying that branch nodes did have some different functionality. So maybe when you're actually coding inside of Unreal Engine, there is some difference between that and an if statement, but I haven't really found any in the blueprints and it seems pretty, pretty basic. So I don't know how much more difficult it could be, but let's just set up a couple widgets here so that we can just have some visual cues. I'll call this equals. So we'll go horizontal box, drag this all the way text and we'll move this it should be in here there we go fill and good and I'll just duplicate this okay and does not. Okay, great. So once the widgets are set up, we can go into our level blueprints. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to, now I'm gonna create some variables and you don't have to worry too much about these right now. I'm gonna have a whole video fairly soon, just going into every single variable. But for now, we can just make some very basic ones. So. I'm going to go create a new one. I'll call this X and I'll call this one Y. Now, right here, the color indicates that it's a Boolean. So again, if you know computer coding, a Boolean is just true or false. And that's not really what we want for this one. Branch nodes can use Booleans, but this will make more sense in a moment. So an integer is just a whole number. And that's what I'm going to change these two just so that I can give them some, some values. So I will go set X, set Y, begin play. And I'm gonna have this, so this is gonna be set to two, and this is gonna be four. And I do actually wanna do one more thing. So over here, we'll do a trigger box or box trigger. Let's pull this up like this. And this is just so that we can, we can actually see something happening when we walk into it. Uh, I could just have it so it starts when, as soon as we open it up, but I kind of like the effect of walking into it. Once we have the box trigger set up, we're gonna go back into the level blueprints. And as I said, if you don't completely understand this part, don't worry, I'm gonna try and go through as easily as I can with the variables, but this is something that I'm gonna be spending a lot more time on in a future video. So for now, just kind of follow my steps. We have it so at the beginning of the game, X and Y are being set to two and four. We could just put this into the default value, but I figured this is easier to show it like this. We are gonna type in int equal, and we wanna get this. So we can take these and plug them in here. So what we're basically saying is that X and Y, are they equal? And if they are, we're gonna get a true or a false, which is a Boolean but I wanna set this to something. So I'm gonna call this true false. 
because that's all a Boolean is. So these red variables, that's just a true or false. That's all it's checking. And that's why whenever you see one of these sockets, it's a true or false. So we'll drag this in. We'll set this, plug this in, and then plug this in. From here, we can go on our actor overlap. And then we are going to go branch. As I said, this is going to be checking true or false. So we can actually drag this and plug it into here. And true, we're going to add, or oops, not widget component, create widget. I always mess that one up. Uh, we're going to go create widget. Now this one is going to be equals, and this one is going to be does not equal. We're going to right click and promote both of these to variables. So maybe I'll rename this to false, and this one to true. And then we're going to add to viewport and add to viewport again. Okay, so I think that that's good to go. And then I'm just going to add in an on actor and overlap. And now this is going to be remove all widgets. Okay, so let's compile that. And I think this is good. So I'll just quickly run through this one more time just in case people are having trouble uh, getting it exact. So I created all of these variables. So there are two integers. We're going to just hit new variable and then you can go integer type or sorry, variable type integer. So you need two integers. You need one Boolean, which as I said, is a true or false. Booleans can only be a one or a zero, true or false. And then we just have the variables that are created by our widget or the create widget node. So we have the calculation. We have the beginning. Actually, maybe I'm going to do this. So we'll do calculation and beginning event. Call this the logic and ending event. This is basically going to look at this and go, are they, if they're true, go up this path. If they're false, go up this path or go down this path. Let's save that. Now let's hit play and see what happens. Now, since I set one to two and the other one to four, this should say does not equal. Okay. And I am going to do this actually, just cause I don't, uh, I don't like when it's inside of the player. So, okay, does not equal. Let's go back into the level blueprints now. And I'm going to set this equal to four. Save it. Play. Now I'm expecting this to say equal because four equals four. And now it works. That's just a quick rundown of how the branch node works. It can get much more complex, but I think that that's the easiest way of explaining it. It's we did get to look a little bit at variables since I wasn't sure of a way to showing this in an easier fashion. You could just have it so that this whole part is gone. But I felt like just having this this little checkbox might mess people up more because you're not completely understanding what's going on. But if this checkbox is on, it's going to say true because we're giving it the condition automatically. So if I go in here and I move forward equals, I'll exit out of that. I'll go back in the level blueprints, tick this off, and now it's going to say does not equal. So yeah, that pretty much sums up the entire tutorial. I know that it may have been a little bit weird with the variables, but this was a pretty good way of starting with it. I'm going to be making a tutorial that shows all of the variables and what they all actually do. Uh, if you have ever done any kind of computer coding, once you get a little bit more into blueprints, you'll realize that there's a lot of patterns that it, it just makes more sense if you've kind of gone through and learned even just basic computer coding before. Uh, you, you don't need to know coding to do the blueprints, but it's just the way that you think about it. It, it does help quite a bit. 
If you found this video helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you could hit the like button. And if you have been enjoying the Unreal Engine tutorial series, but you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, I'd really appreciate it if you could hit that red button, ring the bell and join us for some future videos. It has been a ton of fun making these videos. Please, if you ever get stuck or you just wanna ask me a question, reach out to me at g.miles at luminouslabs.ca. Uh, I have no problem answering any questions. Don't worry about bothering me. I, I really don't mind uh, helping people out if you're stuck. The next video that we're gonna be looking at in this series is the gate node. The gate node is the last node that we are gonna have to learn before we do our light switch. And then there's gonna be one more after the gate node, which is actually gonna show you how to flip the light switch on and off. And then in the one after that, we're gonna actually bring everything together and make our first really cool creation in Unreal Engine. So I hope to see you in the next video. Have a great night, everyone.